YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I like to promise you that you, you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction of today still staying in Indonesia. And if you know what I'm talking about, I just reacted to a previous Indonesian artist from the Roommate Project. Please check it out. I'm going to leave a direct link after this particular reaction. So stay on, watch on, and please show your support in me uh, for me reacting to in other Indonesian artists. They are absolutely amazing and I have abundance of it. So if you are indeed a Putriani, Putri Ariani fan, but also a fan of Indonesian artists, then this is the channel to check out. Please go into my homepage and I've, I have... I haven't yet categorised as own playlist for Indonesian artists, but over the weekends, I certainly will, because I have got abundance of it. And I have been reacting to it over the past, I don't know, about three years. Go to my community page and see the amount of amazing uh, Indonesian artists that have replied back to me. I don't want to do any bragging rights, but, you know, you know, Richard Fabian has sort of like replied to me a number of times, and I thought, like, what? Um, but there was, there, there is absolutely loads over my journey of what is... I tell you what it was, it was soul. Soul music is blown me apart coming from Indonesia. It's like, what is going on? Have they taken like a pill of American whatever and stayed in a kind of lovely time war of sort of like the 80s and 90s and the 60s and 70s soul where music was really music? And you can feel it. I mean, I'm not talking about the 90s and, yet, you know, that, that kind of stuff, like the r and it's because it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, mm, but, oh, wow. I'm blabbing on way too much. Let me introduce you to this. This is Putri Ariani, as you know. And in the description in, in, in the description page, it says Bismillah. Um, is that um I'm gonna try for it. Uh, is that Alamedunama? Something like that? I think that is Alam Dunana. The latest work of you again has been born. Keep waiting for Putri's next work. So that's what it says. Now this is in her native language. So I am looking forward, and all, not only that, this has just been released. This is the latest upload that she's put on. Um, so I don't know what to expect. Um, incidentally, someone has picked up something really, really important about this. I have reacted to, and I haven't really noticed because it's so beautiful, but I've reacted to a lovely, soft, gentle tones with a little bit of expression of power. And I've yet to discover a song which shows strength all the way through like a diva kind of thing. And I'm saying that because when you see her like in the third quarter of her songs, when she shows strength, she's got the strength. But majority of her songs is so heartfelt, it's so warmth, it's so, you know, lovely, that she lives on that kind of mid-tone and falsetto uh, with half the strength of her capabilities. So I've yet to see her with a song where his majority of the song is showing strength in her vocals. You know, don't get me wrong. Like I said, she can show it. And I'm, I just want, let me know what song should I, what song is there where she shows, majority of that song is where she's showing strength above anything else. Let me know. So anyway, look, let's go straight into my next reaction of the day, shall we? So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Okay. Dances as well. What's going on here? Kau bisikan berlari cinta ke dalam hatiku berjuta kata bermiliar rasa buat merona mari sini. I'm lost for words. I'm not pausing. I'm 
I'm gonna pause, I didn't wanna pause, I didn't wanna pause. But the only reason why I, want, I did pause is because I don't want to talk over what I'm seeing right now. So we are all used to um, Putri being behind a musical instrument. Piano, um, drum machines, flute, which I haven't yet to see yet. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if she can play the guitar, you know, that thing. But this is different. And I hope that she can express this side of her on American's Got Talent and not always be behind the comfort of an instrument. Because it's showing how dynamic she is. We've already seen how wide her music capabilities are in various styles of genre, styles of music by the song covers that she carries out. So we know that. But this is showing me that she is, she can and she's showing that she, um, there is no limits or the capability of the structure of where you can put her against somebody who has, um, you know, who has got sight, so to speak. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, this we are talking about someone who is fully blind to someone uh, carrying out extremely on point level as to somebody that has got sight. There's no ba um, boundaries that has stopped her. She is equal to that. And she's always shown that. And it's, and it's, it's a significant sight to, to witness. It really is. Because she is waving the flag, so to speak, for people who has disabilities. You know, there's no excuses. You know, that kind of thing. And for her to do this, that is amazing in itself. And I, and I believe, I really believe that this is her idea. You know, not somebody saying, oh, you know, this will work. No, I believe that this is her idea. And it's beautiful. It really is. I'm going to go back just a little bit and shut my mouth over her singing. <laughs> I couldn't have said all this um, while she's singing. I really couldn't. Impossible. I'm going to go back to about here. That kind of funky disco, isn't it? I love the thing I've got the same thing. It is disco, isn't it? The thing is, she's got coordinations to the dancers. Watch her hand movements. And now it's in time with the dancers sometimes when she does her moves. Watch. You sit, watch. Come on, Lucky. There you go. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you can see it. See what I'm talking about? She shows strength towards the third quarters of her song. So she's got the strength. I can see the strength. So that was Putri Ariani with Kamu Kamulagi. I don't know if this is her song. Um, 
I don't know. Song and lyrics. Okay, it is her song. Song and lyrics is by Putriona. It's her song. Okay. Um, arranged by, okay, um, Sassy um, Coronono. Keys by, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but um, pff, I'm not going to pronounce it. Okay, I'm going to try it. Um, Atiyama. Uh, mixed by um, Kasi um, Kurumomo. Uh, producer by Iswanaman. Um, K Papa, uh, AKA, oh, Papa, her dad. It says Papa, her dad, produ um, executive producer. Okay, yeah, oversees everything, make sure that everything's okay. Okay, that's got to be dad, hasn't it? <laughs> right, Papa. I like the way I put it in brackets, Papa. So there you go, it's her song, ex executive producer, Papa, and she's got a array of friends to uh, help her with the, um, you know, with the mastering and mixing and everything else. Um, it, even though I don't believe that she will need any help with the mastering mixing because she's got the most sensitive ears than everybody else. So there you go. Uh, but look, amazing song blew my mind out the water because i was not expecting it because i was in that comfortable state of what i'm always used to with Petri and Yanni. it's her behind the uh, 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 uh instrument and singing some amazing soft gentile songs with meaningful things even though she's doing covers she does make it in her own way so having an upbeat upbeat disco song where she's standing uh, i'm not saying that she's not standing but you know what i mean it was more up tempo and something that i was unexpected something that i believe that she should show on americans got talent for sure and not just behind the the uh the piano but but because the american got talent are so kind of regimental with feelings because what they saw I think they're going to try and pigeonhole her into that realm of staying behind the piano because that's what the, um, the Americans love. That's what they fall in love with you. They see you loving you behind the, you know, the camera rather than uh, behind the piano, or behind this, or just not standing up or not being at the front of the stage like you see so many other solo artists do. Because there's a niche there. That once you've got a niche in America, you've got to latch onto that and see how far that takes you rather than giving it a different kind of dimension. You know, if they love oranges, don't bother trying to give them apples too soon. You know, you might just ruin that orange for you, you know. So, I, uh, but it's but she has to show how wide her capabilities are at the same time. So, I, I, I don't know, but fantastic song, um, brilliant. And it's lovely to see that I've seen something that's completely different from what I have reacted to of um, Petri Aniani. And I hope you guys do as, as well, because it's only got, um, it's been out f um, for, for a period of time, you know, a couple of weeks, and it's just gathering just, well, sort of 400 and 402,000. So uh, there's still yet a number of people, and a lot of people have yet to see this, who have already have seen her amazing song covers. I wonder why, I don't know, but I'm here, I'm supporting it. Until next time, I salute you. Boom. Chúng ta